It's time for Eric Plays Puzzle Agent 2. Hey guys, so um, I loved uh, the first Puzzle Agent. Um, I played it back before I was um, live streaming or anything like that. And uh, I took lots and lots of screenshots because I really liked the game. I thought it had a really great sense of humor, a lot of fun, fun solving the puzzles. Let's, uh, let's go through it a little. Oh. Department of Puzzle Research just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... Of course, as soon as I start the game, I get a phone call. All right, can Nelson see the unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in place. Okay. Let's see, what is this again? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring. And each column of symbols contains no duplicates. Okay. Let's see. Ah, I see. So there's a duplicate there. Look at there. Okay, duplicate there. Hey, it's a face. It's a lot of text by <laughs> taxpayer dollars. Bizarre. Eraser factory is back open, even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. I like this Sudoku superhero. Ingram? Oh, hi, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division! Wow! Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser. The world's largest Jenga. You completely That's awesome. You cracked that case like it was some first timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, crack that case wide open. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, about that. Alright, so the first one I didn't actually have to do any puzzle solving. Let's see what this one's about. Alright, so what's the next number? So 11, 12. 1, 2. Alright, I'm guessing 13? And then it would be 13, 14... Uh, three, four? Ah! All right, let's see here. So I'm guessing three, three would be the simplest answer.
All right. There you go. <laughs> I got an achievement Christmas tree census. What is that? Oh, it doesn't show here. Interesting. That was funny. Try, Jim, but you see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry. You almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm going to be taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. <laughs> no problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory form is still missing. There has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dowd and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Hmm. All right, one more puzzle, and that'll be it for now. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I thought I was supposed to do something. I was about to click my mouse. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. What the? That guy's backing up with a moving his feet. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Whoa. Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers. She looks shifty. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. There's gum up there. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I I mean, I don't recall anyone <laughs> with that name. Hmm. Good job trying to be shifty there, huh? I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. What? No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. I guess she doesn't want me to be there I for some reason. Any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh. That's disappointing. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you That's know? hilarious. Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Hmm. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. What about right next not to her? Not until spring at the earliest. And maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. Hmm. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. Mm. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for right it. Right there. It's literally right there. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? 
In Scoggins? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and uh, erasers. <laughs> you can see here for yourself. Ooh, this seems like uh, one of the ones that Scarlet was recently doing in her class. Now, this is going to be tough without being able to see it at the same time. Let's see. Well, above LaRue. All right, so Mr. Miss Miss Dimpleton will not stand a floor with more men than women. And Mr. Blesson and Carlman, same floor. All right, let's see here. All right. So Maxwell is above LaRue. There's only two floors, so she has to be here. Miss Dimpleton will not stay on a floor where there's more men than women. And Blesson and Carlman on the same floor. Tether's here. So Maxwell above LaRue. Blesson on the same floor. And then, okay, I think I'm good. Boom. <laughs> Go. Great A. Nice. Picture me. Okay. It looks like there's a room available. Hmm. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the, the other thing. Bed bugs? <laughs> Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's, uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? <laughs> Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. Uh. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Hmm. That's hilarious. Let's grab some gum here. I think gum is hints, if I remember correctly. All right, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, if I remember correctly, this game is full of lots of red herrings and stuff like that. So nothing to necessarily say that it's her fault or she's implicated or in any way, but. What is this here? This... Oh, this to go up. This to go down. Okay. Cool. We spent 391,000 taxpayer dollars. That's hilarious. Previous case notes. Huh. Alright. Uh, I think that, yeah, that's it for now. But I definitely want to play some more. Just playing really has brought back how much I love this game and solving the puzzles and so on. Um, this has been Eric playing Puzzle Agent 2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.